Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 31st of October 2022 and I am on tour in Scotland and as you may see it's raining outside really really heavy so this should be my free day but I can't go fishing so yeah let's dive into the news first of all we have Macallan 1969 2022 a 20 uh, 52 year old uh, Macallan whiskey from Duncan and Taylor and that's uh, one of their the rarest bottlings 41.4 percent ABV and that is actually cask strength one of the oldest in the series then we have news from Kilhuman Casado limited release. Casado is Portuguese and uh, is for marriage and they're marrying 38 bourbon casks in two 6,000 liter red wine casks and that is marrying and not maturing as it would be forbidden to do that. 46% ABV with 50 ppm. Yeah. Then we have a celebration of David C. Stewart master blender and malt master at um, the Balvini and he's really icon and he is said to be the father of the cask finish. Uh, there will be a yearly long celebration and yeah there will be more details coming out probably also here on the whiskey.com news. Then we have news from Tomatin, the Portuguese collection. Three whiskies from the Portuguese casks and new Portuguese collections. Port, Moscatel and Madeira casks distilled in 2006 and filled with 46% ABV. Then we have Buna Heaven 12 year old cask strength and that's the batch number two. 56.6% ABV, ma um, a marriage between first and second fill Oloroso sherry casks. Then we have more news from Macallan. And that is their, um, their continuation of the Harmony connection, collection with intense Arabica and smooth Arabica. That's kind of a coffee thing going on. They'll both come out in November. Then we have Loch Lomond, 54 year old, their oldest whiskey up until now. And it's kind of a cask finish, because, but I would rather call it double cask. Uh, 28 years um, uh, finish, so it's from 1967, uh, American Oaks Hogshead, then refilled into a European Sherry Hogshead, and now we have 55 bottles, 41% ABV, and actually one bottle costs around 24,000 pounds. Then we have a continuation of a story. And that is the Archback Planet Archback graphic novel. And it's a 40 page science fiction uh, from three artists. And they are, yeah, they, I had last time I announced it and now they are out. And I think you can get them as committee members and also you can buy them at the distillery as a print, I think. But I'm actually not near Archback, so I would, if that would have been possible, I would have got one. Yeah, but I'm pretty far away. <laughs> Ben Romach contrast triple distilled 10 years from a first fill bourbon cask, 46% ABV and yeah, a limited release from Ben Romach. Then we have new plans for a new distillery and that this time it's a lowland distillery at Loch Fine. 15 million pounds are going to be invested from the Indian Piccadilly Agro Industries LTD. And they want to start building at beginning of 2023. So yeah, that was quite extensive from Scotland, but yeah, I missed one, so I'm getting about double then. Then we have news from Ireland, from Waterford. Yeah, they have lots of bottlings, but this time they're really interesting. First one is with a very, very old brand of, of barley, and that is the brand Hunter. They only had 50 grams of seed, and they had to multiply and multiply and multiply them to get enough to actually have one of the bottlings, the Hunter 1.1. The other ones, Bally Bannon and Fennis Court, they are actually um, peated ones. So there will be a peated uh, waterford out on the market. 
Now it goes into the international section. Seven Seals is with a new design and new bottlings. Yeah, that's the Swiss one and they don't have the label printed on the bottle anymore, but they actually got a paper level and this no new bottling is a maroon finish, 46% ABV. Then we have Slurs, the Bavarian uh, distillery. It has a new peated and they call it Bavarian peat, 40, uh, 40 ppm, 43% ABV and it will come out mid-November. And last time, a news in our own thing and that is the new live tasting coming up at the 11th of November 11 11 2022 that's the same for the Americans as for us and then we have it at 8 p.m. Central European Standard Time and now we are at winter time be careful of that mm -hmm. because we had a bit of a mix-up already okay so yeah that was it and thank you very much for watching and see you next time